In this video, we're going to start Chapter 2 of Service Pack 4, and we will be dealing with Microsoft Works 9. In the last chapter, we were dealing with uh, Microsoft Office 2007, and now we have moved on to Microsoft Works 9. Now, Microsoft Works 9 is more of a scaled-down version of Microsoft Office, but in essence, Microsoft Works does the same uh, functional has the same functionalities as um, Microsoft Office in terms of word processing, spreadsheets, and so forth. So, if you have Microsoft Works 9, let's open it up. And it comes with a number of programs here. We have um, Get Started, which opens up an HTML document. And um, this basically gives you some an introduction to the Microsoft Works 9. Get started. Gives you some shortcuts. Talks about the templates and so forth. This is installed uh, when you install Microsoft Works 9. Microsoft Works also has works calendar database which is similar to um, Microsoft Access Microsoft Office Access we have Microsoft works portfolio work spreadsheet works task launcher which we're going to be looking at in this in the next two videos and we have Works Word Processor, which is similar to Microsoft Word. We're going to open up Microsoft Works Task Launcher. And this is basically the sort of Microsoft Works console in which you have access to all of the Microsoft Works programs, as well as if you have Microsoft Office installed. You are going to see some some of the Microsoft Office programs listed on, on the right side here. We have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, and OneNote. We can make some new documents there. If you don't have Microsoft Office, you won't see these. In some editions of Microsoft uh, Works, it comes with Microsoft Word. So we have, let's take a look at the home. We have a calendar here. And if we wanted to make some appointments, we can. And we can go to today and so forth. We can look at the different months. Contacts, we can add contacts. And this is what you see at the start. And up here, well, like mentioned before, on this right side, we have a list of programs that we can open up and create some new documents. Here we have templates. And here you have on this left side categorized templates, letters, labels, and here we have pictures of these. If we hover over them, we could just see another picture and some information about it newsletters and flyers research and education it's so good if you want to do projects papers good for students home and money you can handle your uh, budget income information cards and crafts create things these are good if you have kids and you want to make cards for birthdays, uh, certificates you can create, all kinds of things. We have events and planning here. And basically these are all um, things listed in categories. Vehicle data, we have maps here. And anything with this MSN logo here means that we're going to be connected to the internet and we'll uh, be able to get maps from MSN. 
vehicle comparison on the web, logos, quotes and prices, travel, if you want to take a trip, you can have a plan of vacation, maps and directions, just like in um, car data, maps and directions, you have that in travel. Sports and fitness, coach, sports teams, fitness tracking, email, and the internet can create all kinds of emails and have, this is sort of like a, a guide to the MSDN website and all of these things here represent MS, things that you can do on MSN. play games on MSN here. And of course, help if you need help. Check for updates and so forth. Here we have programs. Now, Microsoft Works is very organized, and I like how when you have Microsoft Office, how it organizes the Microsoft Office or integrates the Microsoft Office programs within the Microsoft Works um, program task launcher here. So if we have Microsoft Works, it's, uh, Microsoft Office I should say, you, you're going to have a tab here and you can open up various programs inside of Microsoft Office. We can go ahead and create um, documents using Works Word Processor. See, we can create a blank document, brochures, and if we click on one of these things to give us templates on them, like I'll pick brochure, so we can see a preview of it right here, choose which one we want. This is, this is very similar to the format in uh, Microsoft Publisher, how it gives you the templates, shows you previews of the templates. We can create cards, and these are all things that you can do in Microsoft Works Word Processor. All of these things like journals, letters, menus, see the menus here, we can create menus if you want, notes and outlines, this is good, we want to take notes. Resumes you want. Here are some things we can create using Works Spreadsheet. Medical records. Important household records. Insurance policy logs. Food and drink planner. Party budget. Party plan on these things you can have. And basically, it saves you the trouble of actually going and opening up a blank document and trying to get it to look the way you want and, and make it so that you can actually understand. Works has a lot of templates that you can choose from that will help you with this. Database, you can create a, a nice database. Here's some templates on that. You have home inventory worksheets, home list and recipe books. Want to create a recipe book? You can do that. Works calendar. There's another program called Dictionary. PowerPoint viewer. So we're going to stop the video here. We're going to do a part two on this and we're going to finish looking at some of these programs as well as projects and so forth. So that's it for this video. Microsoft Works.